This is gonna be the best intro outro you're seeing. Um, okay. Is there two uh, cameras this whole time? Don't worry about it. Yes. Okay. I'm here hanging out with Hollywood Life, the best press outlet in New York. Now I'm gonna do the outro. Outro. Thanks for watching, guys. Pre Ooh. I like how the tone of the outro and the intro are completely different than the interviews. <laughs>My character's name is Xander, um, and he's kind of based off of my brother in a way. My brother's name is Xander, so I developed it, and when I was producing it, he kind of inspired me to uh, base the character around, and he's trying to find his dad, essentially, and everyone else thinks that his dad is dead, or missing, or gone forever, and uh, he's amazing. Uh, taking the producing reins was very difficult, uh, very weird. You know, as an actor, you kind of just show up on set, everything's all set up, the lights, everything, you just walk in, you do your thing, you know? But I didn't realize, or I realized I just didn't respect enough how much work goes into making movies and like how much effort people put in to just literally like setting up the sets, like getting people on time, like budgeting. Like I learned all this. It was quite the learning experience. When I first got on the show, it was so overwhelming. It's like being thrown into a whole new world and all these pressures came along with being on the show. And so I feel like Henry, the character, and me have basically grown throughout these whole years. And when I grow, an aspect of Henry grows. And so it's, it's been interesting to literally like grow up like on the screen. Henry is basically like my alter ego. Like he's a cooler version of me. When I go on set, I literally like, I don't even think anymore. It's just like roll right into it. You know what I mean? It's like, a, it's naughty, it's weird. It freaks me out sometimes. Who is somebody that inspires me? Um, Kanye West. The fact that he goes into many different worlds and there's something about his songs like I feel like they give people confidence and I love that. Graduation is like, the best album, maybe. I mean, there's really no bad Kanye album, but the worst one is 808s, in my opinion. I think I tweet about him because I, I, I didn't like the idea that, um, you know, ever since he kind of got political, that like I couldn't like an artist because of, you know, whatever his views were or whatever. Um, or not even his views, because his views were actually pretty solid. It's just, I, I wanted to get it out there because it was like something that was me. I felt like I needed to express that. So I'm I'm very expressive about my love for Kanye. I used to, <laughs> I used to speaking of Kanye, I used to like hype myself up with Kanye songs right before um, our run throughs. <laughs> In my dress room, I would just play and I would just be by myself. <laughs> it's like, like just imagine it is kind of, makes me feel less cool about myself, but uh, <laughs> but uh, that's what I used to do and it would work. People do that, right? What I've learned so far is that like you're, you really can um, like remold your mind in a way and like your mind can literally like adapt. It's just your mind is rewired in a different way and sometimes if you can use that as a superpower, it can be the best. I mean, that's why I love Kanye so much is I, I see the genius in the crazy. And so when people call him crazy, it's like it inspires me more because I like, I like that people don't understand, but I do. I honestly, I think the go-to Netflix and chill in general should be The Office. You don't want something too heavy that you have to invest a lot of energy into, you know what I mean? So I would probably just go for like The Office or maybe Friends. I feel like I like to think I'm Michael Scott because I love him so much. And also his personality is so lovable. He just got a lovable personality. Do you feel me? I say it every interview, but Selena Gomez. She's the love of my life. We're you gonna- know what I said today, oh. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Oh, I got some competition, dude. That guy's nice. Like I met that guy and I'm like, you're so nice. I almost like you too much. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get married. Um, Indiana Jones. That movie franchise was what inspired me to want to be an actor. Or not even be an actor, just like I didn't even know what it was because I was so young when I saw it. I was just like, I just want that. Like I want to be a director, or I want to be a writer, or I want to be an actor. I just want to be a part of that. The best meme of all time. I don't even know. Yeah, I'm that like, that was a pretty that was a classic one. I lo also like the like the you know the guy with the question mark. I use that all the time. The like, my friend, me and my friend used to literally just communicate with uh, office gifts. 
Like we, that's how we would communicate. We would try to like get our message across with just office gifts. And it's pretty, you can do it. At one point there was, you know those Instagram gifts that they have, like the, the, the just like, yeah. that you go into, I would literally see stories that I had nothing to do with of people using, it was like a, a picture of me going like, or like, or I don't even, I can't even replicate it, but it was it was something like that. And uh, that was the coolest feeling in the world. Like being a GIF is like the best thing. I can't stand when people use the word Stan or like this ain't it chief. If I hear this ain't it chief one more time, I'll just, I don't know. I already, <laughs> I'll give the If you say, this ain't it, Chief. You ain't it, Chief. <laughs> I felt really good about that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you check out Henry Danger um, and Bixler High Private Eye on January 21st at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. On Nickelodeon. On Nickelodeon.